now uh, before i s- start this question uh, let me um, just briefly explain you what is what is an equation of pair of lines now suppose this is you know this is equation of a line linear equation in x and y it represents a line this another linear equation in x and y it represents another line now if i multiply these two equations and express it like this right now it becomes a degree 2 equation this degree 1 equation in x and y this is also degree 1 equation in x and y and when you multiply these two it becomes a degree 2 equation and this degree 2 equation is nothing but it represents two lines or we can say pair of lines so whenever we see a degree 2 equation representing pair of lines we can factorize it into two linear expressions of x and y representing two lines in the pair now if you just let, 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 let's see what this question is in this question it is mentioned that this equation of pair of lines is like the the two equations in the pair two lines in the pair are two diagonals of the required circle are two diagonals of the required circle Uh, 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 diameter of the required circle sorry uh, two diameter of the required circle and you know diameter is a line that passes through center of the circle so this is uh, diameter d1 and this is diameter d2 so what we're going to do is we'll factorize this degree 2 polyn- degree 2 equation and we'll get equations of these two lines we'll solve them simultaneously and we'll get center of the circle and once the center of the circle to find equation of the circle we also need to find radius of the circle for radius of the circle so it is mentioned that the size of the circle is such that it just contains this given circle size should just include contain means like it it should include so it means like re- required circle touches this given circle internally like this because suppose after finding the center this is a given circle we have to decide the size so idea is to increase the size such that or radius should be such that it should just it just include just include means size should not be more than size should be such that that it should just include it should not be it should not include comfortably but just include just include means it should just touch this internally so so and and to find that we'll apply like you know when two circles touch each, touch each other internally distance between their centers c1 c2 equals to mod of r2 minus r1 so using this we'll get center of the circle and by solving the two lines we'll get uh, using this by solving the two diameters we'll get center of the circle and using this we'll get radius of the circle now, now let's factorize this this equation we'll factorize it using the splitting the middle term x square plus 3x plus 2xy 2xy plus 6y equal to 0 so which is x plus 3 one factor is x plus 3 another is x plus 2y equals to 0 so x equal to minus 3 and x equal to minus 2y are two diameters so if we solve them center is x coordinate minus 3 and y coordinate when we replace minus 3 in place of x it is 3 by 2 now we'll apply like to find radius let radius be r now you can see here this is r this is radius of c2 radius of c2 say r2 so the center is <coughs> 2,3 three by 2 So radius is four plus nine by four square root. Difference of this is r. This is r two. R minus r two equals to separation between centers. Now separation between center. This is one center. This is second center. So we can say this is c one and this is c two. We apply distance formula, and the, using distance formula, it is c- coming out to be five. So r minus r two equal to five. So r equals to r two plus five. R two is it is twenty five root of twenty five by four 
plus 5 so it is 5 by 2 plus 5 it's 15 by 2 so you can see center is of the required circle is this and radius is this so, so using this we can find equation of the required circle